Hey guys, so I think last week Tuesday I got back from New York, so this is going to be a New York City haul. And at the ending, I'm gonna put just a small haul of what I got um, this past week when I got back. Um, New York is nothing like Hawaii, it's amazing, and I really want to move there one day. And yeah, that's like where everything happens and dreams come true. But um, yeah, let's just start the haul. So the first thing I got was from H&M, that's the first place I went. Um, I went to three different H&Ms and it was massively huge and it was just floors and floors of clothing. So the first thing I picked up was this shirt and it's just a girl doing that eye thingy and then on the bottom it says one eyed redhead and I thought this was really cute. Um, they were selling it for $17.95 and no, no one in Hawaii is going to have these shirts from H&M so I thought you know $17.95 is totally worth just one shirt because I don't usually spend money like that honestly um, so I really like this shirt next shirt I got sorry my neighbors um, next shirt I got was this shirt right here and it just says everything is blurry with blurry huge and there's just a lady with a cheetah kind of mask on. And if you're wondering, the company is Black Book by H&M. And this was also $17.95. So the next shirt that I got was this shirt I'm wearing right now. And it's just like a new kind of color, but not new for me because I'm dark. Anyways, um, there's just a girl on here on the bottom. I can't show it to you, but it says old, old school chic. And I thought this is one of my favorite shirts that I got. Um, throughout the whole trip, this is my favorite shirt. So... And I also have an H&M, another H&M, I got this um, cardigan because I am obsessed with cardigans. For some reason I have like a purple one, a blue one, and every single color and it's amazing. And this was only $12.95 so I had to snatch it up. Um, they had a coral color one but I didn't really like it with my skin tone so I just decided to get a gray one because I didn't have one. Now next place I went, um, the store is only available in New York City, it's called Uniqlo. Um, it's a Japanese store, kind of like H&M, but the prices are a little bit um, better. It's a little bit cheaper. Um, so first thing I picked up, let me just organize these. First thing I picked up was this shirt, and the company that it came from was Ange and M. Um, this was only $15.50, I believe, and they had a lot of these shirts, but only only this one caught my eye. And it says, it's just like a Polaroid picture, and on the bottom it says, like in the fast lane. And in the Polaroid picture, it's just um, the girl showing off her feet at a bowling alley. So I really like this shirt. And it's ultra long, so you could like wear it with leggings. This like goes a little bit, it's, it's just really long. Like if I was to wear shorts, you would only see the bottom of my shorts. That's how long it is. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really cute. Um, next shirt I got is, I actually kind of got it on a kind of like an impulse kind of thing. Um, I don't usually wear pink first of all, and second of all, I don't, I never wear shirts that are sleeveless. I don't know why, it's just my thing. But if it's a, like, like a blouse, then I'll wear it. But if it's a regular shirt, I usually never buy like tank tops or spaghetti straps or anything like that. I don't know why, it's just me. Um, but when I saw this shirt, I was like, okay, I don't care if it's pink, I don't care if it's sleeveless, I have to have it. Me and my boyfriend and I have this thing where when we say I love you to each other, we say um, I love you more than cake or I love you more than cheesecake or whatever. And when I saw this, um, I was just dying inside. Um, this is what it looks like. Again, it's a Polaroid picture. And there's just cupcakes and it says I love you. Um, and then on the bottom it says more than cake. So when I saw this, I was just so happy and so ecstatic and I just grabbed it. This was also $15.50, but, oh yeah, it also came from the company and Janet. So I got this. So the first thing I got was the MAC blush in Hypnos. And I'm obsessed with blushes and I don't own a cor coral blush, so I decided to get this. This is actually the only thing I got from the Tudor Beach collection. And surprisingly, I really love it. I've been wearing it. Mostly every single day when I have school or when I was going to summer school, I was using this every day. So this is one of my favorite blushes. The next thing I got was this Alice and Olivia pigment 
which is gorgeous. I don't have a blue like this, and I usually don't like wearing blues. So when I got this, it was kind of like a spur of the moment kind of thing. And when I did the tutorial on it, surprisingly, I loved this color on me. I think this is the only blue that I actually like on me, so I love this color. Next thing I got was the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Petticoat. I am a blush whore. Like, I'm not even joking. I love blushes from MAC, especially um, mineralized blushes. Um, if you don't have any MSFs, go and get Petticoat. Because first of all, it is a limited edition, and after this, it's going to be selling for crazy. And you don't know when it's going to come out again. And it's just this really pretty kind of color that I don't have and you can either swirl it around or you can take just the pink part and just, I don't know, or you can just take the darker part and you have three different colors right there and it's just the most gorgeous color that I've ever seen and it's just amazing. I love this mineralized blush and I don't know, I just, the next thing I got was this Smashbox Full Finish Light and I was using the Laura Mercier one. But I decided to swap that for this because I wanted to try it. And the light is specialized for oily skin and I do have oily skin and it's just disgusting. Um, I tried this and I honestly really love it. Um, this is probably my second like go-to primer. My first one would have to be the Lancome Pure Focus primer. That was that's, that one really modifies, modifies my face. This one just gives me a nice matte kind of natural matte kind of look. And I honestly really love this primer. Next thing I got in a swap, I got this Heatherette um, lipstick in Lollipop Loving. And it's a glaze. And I actually have one, the MAC, I mean, the MAC Heatherette Beauty Powder in Alpha Girl. I actually have it coming in. After two years of waiting to see if the prices will go down from like $60 or $50, I finally, you know, gave in and said it's not going to go any lower than what I see on eBay, so I decided to get one for $41. Um, got it, and I'm actually, I can't say I love it, I love the packaging, that's the reason why I got it. Um, but, yeah, I got this in a swap, I, I forgot what I swapped this for, I think I swapped it for a paint pot in Rubiness. But, this is Lollipop Loving, and this color is pretty not the nicest color on me, but, like I said, I just got it because the packaging was cute and I will probably will wear it um, if I find the right lip gloss for it. It's right there. But the packaging is overall really cute and I got the beauty powder to match it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like my haul and please subscribe if you like my videos or if you have oily skin because I hate oily skin and we can talk about how we hate oily skin together. So yeah, that's all.